be doing my first tutorial on how to apply eyeliner today. Well, this is the look that's very simple, very basic, and I really recommend this look for beginners. Um, it takes me around 10 to 15 minutes to do this look. Um, I did my left eye, hopefully you guys can see that, and I'll demonstrate my right eye for you in a little bit. But the first thing you need to know about eyeliner is there's three types. The first type is the liquid liner. Um, I really don't use this much because when I mess up, it's really hard for me to remove it. So, and it tickles my little lid and it really bugs me and, you know, I start tearing up and everything. So, I really don't use this that much. And I really don't recommend this for beginners because it's very hard to remove it. And once you mess up, you mess up. So you kind of act out about that. So this is the liquid, okay? The second type is the cream liner from HIP. You can get this at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Kmart, anywhere for around $12. Pretty pricey. But I got mine on sale, buy one, get one free. So technically it's like five dollars. So you guys watch out for the sale. Don't miss it because you might miss a lot of good offers out there at this. Instead of buying it really expensive, you know. But oh, you, um, the way you use it is you get an eyeliner, fresh and you dab it, and then you just go along your waterline your under lid and that's how you put it on but I really don't use this that much because I don't really don't like using a brush to put on my eyeliner so the type that I use is pencil and I will demonstrate that today and this is the NYC brow eyeliner pencil and this is only 99 cents at CVS and I really really recommend you guys getting this if you guys want to use eyeliner that lasts the whole day and won't smudge as much. The only problem I have with this is that it breaks very easy. But here's the trick. If you're starting to notice that it's starting to break a lot, pop this in the refrigerator at night before you go to sleep and in the morning, um, take it out if you're ready to go. You know, it won't break no more because Sometimes it gets really soft and smudgy, and then when you put it in the fridge, you know, it gets harder up and everything. And here's another trick to find the right pencil is that try to find the one that's wooded around, not the smooth kind, because NYC, sometimes they have the smooth kind, and that breaks very easy. So I try to find the one that's very wooded, the dark kind around here. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. But it re it really um, works if you find those, and it helps not breaking a lot. But this is the pencil, okay? And I will demonstrate you guys how I use the pencil. Um, sometimes it comes with like a, a duo. Like this is how big mine is right now. It comes with black, and the other side is like a pearl white. Okay. Um, sometimes you can find eyeliner that comes that twists up. I really don't recommend that because it really, really, really do not work for me. So, yeah. So, yeah, the first thing I do is I put on my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I got this for $16 and I couldn't find a sale on it. So, yeah, I have to pay $16 for this little room. Um, I tried it for a week now, and it seems like it works. So yeah, first I put my primer on. This primer you can find at Ulta um, for $16. That's where I went. And it helps you, well it helps the makeup stay on the whole day and not crease or nothing. So I just put it on. And that helps the eyeliner pencil like go on very smooth and yeah. Okay, so here it goes. 
I always start with my upper lid, which is up here. Um, I have the Asian eye, so I try to make my eyes look a little bit bigger than it is. So I start out with the dual. This is from NYC too, but this is how much I got left. This is the dual one, and it comes with the white one. Also 99 cents. So I put the white on first, so it will make my eyes look a little bit bigger than it is. Just put it on, on your waterline, because the white makes my eye look a little bit bigger than it is. You can put at the corner right here, and smudge it up. You can see the difference already, like it makes my eye look big. And then lift up your, your eye, do a tight lining. If you guys don't know what a tight lining is, you're putting eyeliner on top of the lid inside, like this. That will make it look a little different. Okay? So now for the black. I always start with the top brush first. I start from this angle, and I just go all the way to the middle, okay, go to the middle, and then start from here, and meet to the middle. So I, from here, I go all the way to the middle, stop, and then from here, I go all the way to the middle, meet to the other side. So that's how I meet it. And then if you guys want to go over again, to make it a little bit darker. You see how it looks? We'll go over it one more time to make it a little bit darker. You see, do you see how it breaks? I really don't like that. It just broke my pencil. Okay, now I'm going to do the tight lining. So lift up your eye and try to do the inside. Gently go along. Okay. I'm gonna fix this. You guys want to do like a thinner line to look more natural, that's fine. But this is how I wear mine. So it will kind of look like I have some crease because I do have the chinky eyes. And I'm just trying to make my eye look a little bit bigger by doing this. And that's pretty much it for drawing it. Okay.